So the title of this video was basically supposed to be how to break out of a rut, like how to get out of a vicious cycle, how to break out of a cycle, right? It could mean various things, like for instance, getting out of uh, certain patterns, certain cycles, certain ways that you are living in your life that you wouldn't want to continue living if it was up to you. And certain things in life happen in the form of a vicious cycle. Like an example I can give is what I broke out of. Like. Uh, I know a lot of people, when I narrate my story, are going to have a lot of things to say about who I am, what I should have done, and basically how I'm thinking wrong. But basically, I made the decision to drop out of university about a month ago, and that really upset everybody in my family, from my relatives, uncles, aunties, grandma, both my mom and dad, extremely upset. Like, they're really upset. They won't even, like, speak to me this time around. But it was something that I had to do in order for me to break the cycle. So, away from that, I broke out of the cycle of having to do what I didn't want to do over and over again. Having to go home and be treated like a, like a kid, like one of my siblings. I'm sure some of you are going through this kind of situation, right? I'm sure you are 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 still living in your parents' house, probably in university, and whenever you go home, you don't get treated like an adult or you don't get a certain way that you would want to be treated. So they treat you like a child. They treat you like the way they treat your younger siblings, if you have any younger siblings. And that's what I used to face. So basically, it takes making one huge sacrifice for you to break out of a serious cycle. Let's say, for instance, you're an alcoholic and you are tired of working every single day or studying every single day, then going out and drinking every single weekend. To some people, that becomes a vicious cycle. It's a loop. Or for some of those who can't stop smoking weed, like you smoke every single day and then the time you actually want to stop, it's like not happening because it's a cycle. So there is a concept that I created myself called force. Force. Okay, I didn't create it. This is what I'm creating. It is called force stop. Force stop. I'm sure you've seen this in a device before, right? If your device is lagging, you force stop it. If an app is lagging, you hit force stop. So you need to find a force stop button in your own life. In my case, I was tired of being treated like a child, so I decided to pull the plug on going to school altogether. I literally didn't have a backup plan. I didn't have any money. I didn't have a house I was renting. I didn't have any money for food. All I just decided to do was completely drop out and leave my parents' place, and I didn't even have where to stay. I went homeless for seven days. I had to make very serious sacrifices on the way to ensure that at least I have a place to stay, I have a place to eat, I have, you know, just the basic necessities that every human being needs. But I won't lie to you, that wasn't, that wasn't an easy thing at all. It was actually very difficult to do something like this. All in all, I hit the force stop button on what the cycle was. So whatever the cycle is for you, let's say for instance, the cycle is you getting, I don't know, I don't know, the broke, brokenness, right? Brokenness can also be a cycle. If you notice that you have been broke for a very prolonged period of time, all you need to do is hit the force stop button on that. So now the force stop, what could it be? Does it mean force stopping means you need to dedicate 12 hours a day into your work? It's something forceful to do but it could deliver you results. Does it mean you have to stop spending your time and energy on mundane tasks that won't lead towards your end goal? This is also a force stop mechanism because it actually isn't easy to do. The basic mechanism of the force stop is doing something that is way outside your comfort zone so that you can get an outcome 
that you want to get. So basically, that's all I had to talk about the four stop technique and how to get out of a vicious cycle in your life. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the next video, and I'll be seeing you again soon. Bye.